Hey, what's up, guys? It's been a little while. Oh my god. <laughs> and Zena's here. Look at her sleeping like a little angel. <laughs> like an angel. I have myself a little baldy. <laughs> she was born six pounds, nine ounces. And I said I was going to vlog while I was at the hospital. Yeah, but that was impossible, guys. I was in too much pain to be thinking about vlogging. So I ended up getting a C-section. <laughs> and I just was not feeling it, guys. It was way too many things going on at once. And... I just did it. As you guys can see, I vlogged when we were on our way there, but once I was there, I was there for about three days. Three days in my kidney. More like four days. Yeah. Um, well, four days. But yeah, I wasn't in the mood to be vlogging, honestly. So please forgive me. But yeah, Zena's finally here. I'm not pregnant anymore. And it feels great right now. This is like the best day I've had since I gave birth. It's been seven days since she was born. And it's been hard. It's been really hard. But today has been a good day. Um, it is a summer day. Even though it's spring, It's it feels like summer here in New York City. Mm -hmm. It is 80, I think 85 degrees, babe. Yeah. So. And guys, and it is hot today. It's hot today. Yeah, it's <laughs> see he's wearing a little tank top. Mommy's wearing spaghetti straps. Yeah. Today is a beautiful day. I had not been out the house. I got home on Friday. Today is Wednesday. I had not been out the house since last Friday, so yeah. But today was is they said it was going to be a nice day, so I was like, I am not staying home. And plus, I was starting to feel better, and the pain is a lot less than it was before, so yeah, I decided got, to go outside. Yeah, I got guys, and you know, Mommy's feeling better today. Yes, I'm feeling better. <laughs> okay, see you guys in a bit. Hey, guys. We are here trying out some food at... The Bronx Burger Bristol Bistro. I got the. For all you vegans out there, I'm sorry. You cannot eat that. So I got the plantain cups. The shrimp. With some sweet potato fries. Say hi, Zena. Anyways, let me start eating and enjoy, and I get back to you guys. All right, guys. So that was pretty good. Five out of five, or ten out of ten. That was pretty good. I enjoyed. Armani. Armani, what do you think about the French fry? It was good. And Zena loves her milk, so that's all she has to say. She she loves her milk. She gives her milk ten, no, twenty out of ten. Okay guys, so I wanted to share some of the things that I have found to be very useful. And for Zena, Zena it's been 12 days since I gave birth. 
Um, today is May 7th. And one of the things that um, I feel was a great investment was this bassinet. As I showed previously, I was going to buy. Hi, bless you, baby. You okay? So the Halo Bassinet Swivel Sleeper. And it has the little features over here with the night light. The it has a little heart um beat. <laughs> oh my god, Zina's looking at me like, mommy, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to, mommy? So it has a little um a heartbeat sound. It has little lullabies as well. Um, it has a breastfeeding timer. Look. Two vibrating settings Look, got, and the night light. Armani, excuse me, I'm talking. <laughs> what is wrong with you? So yeah, this was very this is very convenient. Let me try and put her down. Give me a second. See? That's good. Okay guys, so this is how it works. So I lay down on this side, of course. And you can swivel. Wait, why is it not swiveling? Oh, there we go. So I can have it that distance from the bed but if she cries in the middle of the night I don't have to get up I just have to push it in and it actually goes uh, very far in the bed um, this little the pole goes up and down to whatever height you want yeah. it to be And so yeah, this is I think this was a very good investment, especially because I had a C-section done. And as you know, whoever has had a C-section, that's major surgery. I can't be getting up um all the time throughout the night to get her when she cries. So this was very beneficial. And the front here goes down. So And she seems to like it. She seems to really enjoy it. And if you guys are wondering why we have why a we twin bed, why we, we just changed everything in our room. Um, because if you guys didn't know, I live in New York City in a one-bedroom apartment. So we had to... How do you say? Have you guys seen... Have you guys seen that show, Tiny, The Tiniest Homes? Well, we had to do something like that in our house because we don't want to move from our apartment until we're ready to move to a house. We don't think it's a very smart idea to move out yeah, well, until we're ready to move to a home that we own. So we're not going to move out of here to go rent somewhere else. Rent is extremely expensive here in New York City, and we and, just feel like we can mommy, save that money to get our own home. Yeah, and guys, we're... We're waiting for a new puppy so we can go at our new house. We're waiting for a new puppy? Yeah. We are? Yeah. No. What Daddy said is we're, we're get, we might get a puppy when we move to a house. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Okay. Also, guys, you like you guys like my curtains? Yeah. So that on. top part right there um, is made out of wood. I have no idea what you call it in English, but I was told it's called Cenefa in Spanish. And my husband's aunt made it for us. How nice is that? I love it. I absolutely love it. What's up, Tina? Uh oh. One second, guys. Mommy duties. All right, guys. So, like I was saying, um, I didn't finish saying why we have a twin bed. Well, we had a queen for my husband and I here in the room. Our The room is pretty big. Yeah. Um, so we had a queen for my husband and I, and my uh, my son, Armani, had a car bed. A car's, yeah, but, but. The car's from Disney uh, bed. But it took a lot of space, and Armani was generous enough to understand that Zena was coming, and we needed more space in the room. Yes. So we were. So I got a big bed because I'm big. Yeah, that's right. Now he has a twin bed because that car's bed took um, the toddler mattress still. So. Um, because the car bed is so little. Yeah, it's little. It's little and it's bulky. Who, 
who needs that right now? So what did we do? We we donated it. We gave the bed to your friend, right? Mm hmm Who we gave the bed to? Um, Caden. Yeah, so he gave his bed to his friend Caden. Yeah, because he's little and he needs that bed. Yeah, and he, he was really happy, right? Yeah, and he, and he, because he was little and, and he couldn't get in his crib because he's a big boy. He, 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 he. He was waiting because he got a crib. Right. So now he has a car bed and he's really happy. And he's very happy with you because you gave it to him. Yeah. Right? Okay. So we got um, a queen bed. This is a twin. That or The bottom bed obviously is a queen size. And then the top obviously is a twin. So this obviously saves us a lot of space. Which is pretty awesome. Yeah. And guys. And you know. Someone moved my toy collection so they can have more space right we have to make a lot of rearrangements in this house right for Zena. that's right but we love her right yeah okay another nice investment was i want to see you guys oh well, all this was part of the baby shower gifts really you don't see me guys armani excuse me i am talking and you're not and you're so not this busy. this um diaper Pail is pretty cool too yes. because it keeps the bad odor inside. Yeah, I can look. All of them were inside. Like. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys have seen many of these before. So I really like this one. Um, you put the diaper in there, and once yeah. you close the lid, it kind of suppresses all the odor and stuff inside the bag. Yeah, and when you open this, look. And when you open it, look. Opens. Yep, it opens. And here we have Zena's little hamper. Yeah, so and her dude. I found that little nice um basket at Target. I thought it was pretty cute. Yeah, we can put all her all her um dirty clothes inside here. That's right. And all her dirty clothes And this swing her. pretty handy too. Um well the swing part is not there. I'll show you guys in a minute. How that works okay so that's how it really goes but as you guys saw before the swing wasn't there so the swing is actually detachable for this one for my son Armani we had one that was similar to this one but the swing wasn't detachable and I think that's pretty cool of this one because if I just want a something simple to put her on the floor on I just take this part off I put it on the floor and it's a little rocking chair for her um, and I don't need to have that big um, thing plugged to the wall it's just a simple chair I can take anywhere I can take it to the kitchen it's not very heavy um, I can take it to the heavy. living room and if we're here in the room then we just put it back if we want it to swing <laughs> and it's, it's that simple you guys yeah. You, I think that's a pretty cool swing. Uh, too. You, it's a great cool, great cool swing. Uh, why is it not focusing? Yes. Yeah. The good investment was this pillow. It's a breastfeeding pillow that you put around your waist so that the baby's comfortable while it's she he or she is, is breastfeeding. Um, it it also says here, like in the middle of the of the pillow, it reminds you that zero at zero months you can use it for breastfeeding. <laughs> It's not focusing. Okay. At three months, you can use it to lay the baby down. And at nine months, the baby could be... Well, I skipped. Six months, you can put the baby facing down on the pillow. And at nine months, they can actually sit and recline on the pillow. So, it's multi-use. And I've been using it greatly. Zena. For now, I want to be a What's baby. What's the matter? What's the matter? Mommy. Mommy. What happened? Now I want to be a baby right now. You want to be a baby? Why? Because I hate being a brother. Why? Why? You think babies are cute? You don't think I'm cute. What? I do think you're cute. What's wrong with you? You're starting to get jealous? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you start to love Zia. Not me. What? 
That is not true, Armani. Yes. That is true. That is not. Okay. Do you love Zena? Yes, I do, but you don't love me. Oh, you see? No, I love you. I love you. I love both of you equally. No. Ugh, let me just pick Zena up really quick. I love both of you equally, okay? No. So don't you ever say that again. No. Why is this not focusing? Uh. Now it is. Oh, baby. What's the matter, baby? All right. This is a little bit. As far as bottles go, I think I, I showed you guys the bottles I bought in a previous video when I went to Babies R Us. But it was the event. And I brought two of these eight ounce bottles three of these i believe five ounce or six ounce these little ones and two pacifiers and i brought this tommy no i'm lying this was separate this was a, a, a package this was separate and then um i also got for my baby shower uh, the Tommy Tippy Pump and Go set, which I'm also using a lot as well because I am doing a combination. I am breastfeeding and I'm also giving formula. So I give, well, as of right now, what's working for me is I'm giving Xena uh, breast milk in the morning time, in the afternoon, and in the nighttime, and everything in between is formula. So this is pretty handy. This is a warmer that came with the set with the Timmy, a Tommy Tippy Pump and Go. And you have different settings here. Let me show you guys. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, it has the room temperature, uh, the refrigerated, like this is like, these are the settings that the bottle starts in. So you either have the room temperature which I don't know why would you heat that up, but then it has the refrigerator, like if you've had the bottle in the refrigerator, and then it has the freezer if it's frozen. So you choose one of these three, then you choose the bottle type. You either have a plastic bottle, you have the little pouches in which you pump directly to. So part of the set um, came with, with these little, pump pouches that you attach. It brings in adapters for all pumps as well. So it brings these little pouches that you attach with the adapter that the set comes with um, to the breast pump. And so you're pumping directly into this. This is hey. sterilized already, is ready to Mommy. use. Mommy, why is this for the floor? I don't know. So this is ready to use um, and you can either Feed it to the baby from right here because it also has like a bottle kind of thing where you can attach it. Let me see where is it. I haven't really used it. Well, I tried using it once, but Zena didn't really like it. So what I do is when I pump, if I'm not going to give it to her right then and there, I put it in the fridge. Um, and if I give it to her within a couple of hours or maybe the next day, I warm it up and I pour it into her regular glass bottle from a vent. Because for some reason, I try to do it um, in the pump and go set kind of bottle with that pouch, but Xena was not feeling it. I don't know if it was the, the, the nipple of the bottle, which seems pretty similar to the one that she's using right now. I don't know what the deal was, but she wasn't having it. But this is what it comes with. It gives you the option of just um, pumping into this and then so you pump into this it brings this glass you attach it to it see so the milk is going to be in here and then it brings the top Obviously, I have to open this up. And there you go. 
You have a bottle ready to go. You don't have to pour it anywhere if your baby's with it, of course. Um, and you just feed your baby just like that. So that's why it's called Tommy Tippy Pump uh, Pump and Go. So that's pretty handy if it works for you. Um, if not, then again, you could just use the little pouches, store them in the fridge. It, it brought a little container to like store these pouches as well. If you if you pump a lot of milk, I don't really produce a lot, so I don't really have like stacks of milk on my fridge. I usually go through them during the day or the next day. Um, and so here you have if you pump a lot, you can. I don't know what name you would put there because they only have one baby. But you put the date in which you pumped and any notes if you want to. Um, so this is, let me show you the little container I brought to store it in. So you can have this in your fridge to store those little pouches. pretty nice what else did it, bring? it also brought a couple of small bottles five ounce bottles these are plastic though um, and that's it that's it for that set what else have I been using um oh this is funny um <laughs> This little tub we've had since Armani was born and it was in my closet and we never used it for him because we never found the time to get around to it. Well, in these two weeks that my husband's been home, he decided to bring it down and give it a try with Zena. Yeah, yesterday we needed to take her shower because it, her was dirty and it was stinky. Oh, really? Okay, so we tried it and of course I didn't really feel um, too happy about it. I feel like you fill it up with water here and from that same water, water comes out through here for the baby. But it's like really, it's not that efficient you guys. It really isn't. I feel like it just takes so much time, you know, that that we as parents don't have it's just very time consuming and it just I, it doesn't work for me i don't think i'll be using it again honestly um it brought a little, another little pads in the bathroom um it should be dry already but it brings this little pad that you can put right here and the baby is like um laying up pretty soft material um but i just I, this doesn't work for me it just takes way too much time to set up so yeah, it takes way too much time to set up. Um, right now, like with Armani, you know when you're with your first child, you want to have, you want to buy everything because it's your first kid and you know, it's the first time you're being a mom and you just want to get everything. It doesn't even matter. Like you don't think about, am I really going to use this? You know, it's cute and you think, you know, I'm, I'm, I want to do all that. And when the time comes, you are just so busy with the baby that you just don't realize that you're not going to use half of the shit. Um, so with Xena, you know, when I did my registry, I kind of had that in mind and I was just thinking about, okay, let me just put things that I know I'm going to use and, and that are not time consuming because when we're parents, when we have a newborn, there's just so many things to do. You have to feed them and change them every freaking two to three hours because they're pooping all over the place all, all the time. <laughs> so, you know, and, and. You're burping them and you're trying to breastfeed. You know, most of us are trying to breastfeed and then trying to figure out if we're going to give them formula. So we have so many things in our heads that we really don't have time to be setting up these things. So I think the best thing to do is to get things that are just simple and easy. So this time, the one thing I like to give her a little bath is this I'm about to show you. So this, you guys, is a little flower. It's a cushion flower. And so you turn on the faucet. You can put it right on your sink. And it's it's really soft and comfy for the baby. You lay them down there. Yeah, and take them a bath. And you're done. You know, there's no setting up. You know, this is it's it's really like a cushion. 
It's, it's just a flower cushion. You put it down on the sink. It takes two seconds. Two seconds to set it up. You put the baby there. They're comfy. They're nice and warm. Um, and that's it. I think that's the best thing ever. And then when you're done, you put it up in the shower and let it dry. Let it air dry. And you're done. And it's super soft. I love it. So if you guys clicked on this video wondering how can you get a flat tummy in 12, 12 days postpartum, like I am today, you've clicked on the right video. And the truth is, this is how I did it. Psych. It cannot be done. It cannot be done, guys. It's not realistic. 12 days postpartum. Not even two full week, weeks yet. Um, my progress is doing very well. I'm very happy with where I stand right now at 12 weeks. But I do not have a flat tummy. Please, let's be real. That is not possible, you guys. Stop trying to get the easy way out. It's not going to happen. Um, right now, I'm focusing on eating right. And of course, wearing a body shaper. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. And I, as you know, I got a C-section. So it actually helps me um, with my cut. I feel more tucked in. And it's just, it's more comfortable for me to walk in when I am, I feel tight. My abdomen feels tight because everything has been all over the place while you're pregnant. And then once you get a C-section done, I don't know. I've had two C-sections, so I don't know what it feels like when you give birth regularly, but I I can, I would think your organs are all over the place, so it's good for you to wear some type of body shape or something that just puts some compression on your belly so that everything can go back to normal. So this is what I'm looking like right now with my body shaper. This is like a, a short one. It's like a shorts. And it does it's not it doesn't have a bra, it just goes up to underneath my breast. Right. So this is with my body shaper on. I'll show you what I look like without it in a second. Before I take it off, um, I just want to show you how this one that I got works. This is actually a C-section recovery kind of um, compression band or just for any type of surgery kind of band. But I'm pretty sure anybody can use it, but it's, it's mainly for that. So... And I got it from online, from this store, Leonisa. I got um, something similar to this when I was pregnant with my son Armani, and I used it right after as well, and it worked pretty well on me. So, let me just show you how this works. So it has two Velcros on each side. So I put it on as a short, like it's a short kind of thing. See, um, I put it on and then here, I'm gonna tighten it as much as I want. This part right here is already, you know, has already some compression, but I'm gonna add the extra tightness depending on where I'm at, what stage with the Velcro. So I'm going to pull it as back as I want. And then do the same thing to the other side. And 
what I like about this one too is that it has like uh, similar to the bra clips underneath so that when you have to go to the bathroom you don't have to take the whole thing out you just um, unclip it from underneath and pull it up so that's a, a great thing about it so be back Mommy! What? Permiso, papi, espérate. Espérate. You're gonna come out of the video and you make it. So this is what I look like, guys. Without it. See, still have a little pouch. It's been 12 days. I'm not in a rush. It'll happen. And Zena's crying right now like a little baby. And that's that. I didn't get much stretch marks, luckily. Um, I have like maybe like one going down right here. It's not too bad, not too horrible. So I'm not gonna complain about that. Um, and that's it. I think I have a couple like really low, which I don't care for, because I'm not gonna be showing that part of my body anyways, except to my husband, and my husband is fine with it. So this is what it is, guys. Don't rush into anything. It takes time. Love yourself. Be kind to yourself after you give birth. You've just gone through a really rough process. Your body just went through major changes. Um, so take your time. Take your time and know that you're not alone. Um, everybody's journey is different. There's women who have a harder time. There's women who have... Less of a harder time, but nonetheless, our bodies go through major change. And if we want it to go back or close to what it used to be, um, we need to put in some work. And we need to watch what we eat after we give birth. And we just need to take care of ourselves. But it's not impossible. So, yeah. That being said, I'm going to close this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.